Hello guys, this is 3D Printer. Uh, upgraded 3D Printer from i3 Mega to Mega S. And you can see it's completely and fully upgraded. Um, well, here you can see this is the display slide cover here. And, and then this is the uh, heat bed handle. And this is the uh, dustbin. Uh, so the dustbin here and then this is the fan box here you can see this is the front one is a uh, grill here and inside here you can see there's a fan inserted so I inserted this fan in order to cool the fan box here and there's a, uh, there's a side cover over here and and over here too and this one is called this uh, two gold switch mount here well, you need to buy the toggle switch from the hardware store, and this is how it looks like. Okay, and here you can see the uh, protective cover here for the cable that protects the cable, and the here you can see um, it's called um, Bowden tube support here, and. Here you can see the tube here, it looks so visible and transparent. Um, and then at the bottom you can see there is the uh, ring here. You need to print this separately. You 3D print this. Uh, it's a, a LED ring. And then you need to buy the LED separately. Separately LED ring for this one too. And at the bottom you can see there is the bed sensor installed, BL touch. Well for the BL touch you need to also 3D print the mount or the holder for BL touch. It's above above the uh, BL touch. So it's here you can see there's a mount here so I already you know used a screw here to tighten it. And then the hot end you can see uh, it's it's called uh, E3D 6W and it's the latest one here and for this one you or you all you're also you also need to uh, 3d print the uh, holder or holder or the mount for it because above here you also I mean above this hot end you need to uh, you need to put the uh, you know it's called adapt adaptive ring mount so because it's smaller than the older one so you need to be careful before you install it first of all you need to install the mount for a uh, holder or mount for the hot end and then you put it here it's actually the mount is actually inside already installed I already did that before and then here you can see the cable holder and on each side you can see there's a, a Z road here this is called Z road support or Z road uh, mount uh, I, I installed on both on each side one here another road over there you can see this is how it looks like here and then um, here this is the brush holder and the utility holder too this is how it looks like but for this one I just bought separately from the store and then here yeah, uh, and then there's another way another one thing to show you but I actually I well, this is how it looks like here. Actually, mine here. This is a uh, extruder, ex uh, extruder for a Mega S. So it's upgraded here. And I put this, uh, you know, spongy here in order to prevent the debris or dirt. And then there's another one here. Cable holder. You can see there's a cable holder here. This is the, it holds the cable. This is how it looks like here. You need to have a look at a, in my profile for this one too. In well, and then another thing is that yes, here you can see this is called the fuse restriction. Yeah, actually my motherboard had the damaged fuse. So what did I do? I came I I came up with a new idea to you know to use this fuse car fuse 15 amperage. And then what did I do? I solder, I mean, there's two wires here under the fuse holder, car, I mean, plate uh, fuse holder here, and then I stretched the wire into the base straight onto the damaged 
fuse and then I solder on each side of the damaged fuse well you can have you can you can uh, you can follow the you can follow my uh, you can follow the instruction link uh, mentioned there well this is the actually a separate one here so this is for this one you need to follow the uh, you know the, the 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 instructions and guidance for uh, for for fuse instruction uh, restruction and this is all for now and well I'm now I'm going to switch on the 3d printer this is how it looks like and this is how it works you can see here this is my um, BL touch installed and everything is set up here well this is the menu here special menu you can see mine is already upgraded uh, mine is uh, my firmware is upgraded to merlin 1.19 and you can see there's an auto bed leveling and prehead i have already auto leveled my bed and it's completely leveled so anyway you can see it's fully upgraded so i'm just gonna show you uh, some movement for it so i'm gonna go straight to the home Well, this is diffused here. If I if I remove this, this might be sh this might this might shut down here because uh, it, it, the, the, the motherboard has the damaged fuse. So this thing really helps a lot, and it's I'm really satisfied. Um, it really works very well. No problem, no issue at all. All right. Right here, it has been homed. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.